Thank you. My name is Francis Book. In 1986, I was a little boy, seven years old. I was asked by my mother to go to local market to sell eggs and peanuts. From that day, I was captured by the Arab Bagara, or now a group they call Jinjawit in Darfur, came to that market and murdered men and women and captured me with many other children and taken us to slavery in the northern Sudan. I have then served 10 years in captivity, serving an Arab master. After multiple attempts, I successfully escaped and made my way to the capital, city of Sudan, Khartoum. And with the help of people of my tribe, I was able to make my way to Egypt. In 1999, I was granted United Nations status to come to America as a refugee. Today, I live here in America, where I become the dual citizens of the United States of America. However, my heart's always in my country and think about my people and the future of the men and women and children in South Sudan and all the other marginalized area by the oppressors, the fundamentalist regime, Arab regime in the Northern Sudan. For 10 years, when I was in slavery, I used to lie awake at night and wonder who will come and free me. Today, as I live in this country, enjoying the freedom of this great nation, United States of America, I always know and dream and lie awake at night, thinking about my people, the future people of South Sudan have suffered for so long since Sudan gained it, its independence from Great Britain in 1956. But sometimes I feel there is still hope for my people to be free like other societies. In 2005, there was a comprehensive peace agreement signed between us, the South Sudanese in Southern Sudan, and between the fundamentalist regime in the North. That peace agreement has given the provisions of referendum, an opportunity for people of South Sudan to first time exercise the God-given rights to vote for secession for an independent country in the Horn of Africa coming January 9, 2011. With these provisions, an opportunity for referendum for people of South Sudan, I am today speaking directly to you, the international community, from all work of lives, being from civil society, religious groups, political groups, all alike, to be a dog watch on that day, to support it, my people, and to actually recognize and respect our choices as we walk to the pulse station on that day on January 9 and vote for suppression. This is a one lifetime event, an historic event that 
who should be a part to give these people of South Sudan an opportunity. Indeed, Sudan is facing a lot of problems, including the Darfur, Southern Blue Nile, and New Mountain. But people of South Sudan will be first a role model as we fought the longest Africa longest civil war from last 22 years, which claimed the life of over 2 million, including my own parents. But we are leading and we will rescue every marginalized person in Sudan one by one when we become an independent. So I'm appealing to you to please be there on that day. Send your media. Let the broadcasting live on January 9, 2011. Tell the world and the Arabs in the north of Sudan the fundamental regime to allow free and fair and democratic elections without determination, intimidating my people, and rigging that referendum election like they did during the April election this year in 2010 and to allow my people to make their own choices. The same thing for the people of Abia who will be having the same similar process between choosing unity and separation to joining with people of South Sudan or joining with the North. But I'm sure the people of Abia who are Dinka, Dinka Ngoc will not vote for North, but will be voting to join their brothers and sisters in Southern Sudan. Your voice is powerful and can save lives. This is not a choice between doing it, but it's only an opportunity for you and for the people of South Sudan to rescue them. Sudan has already experienced two genocidal, one which two millions killed in Southern Sudan. And the second one is the current genocide, which the dictator president who came to power by coup in 1989, al-Bashir, retain the power to stay as a president of Sudan, a dictator president to continue committing more atrocities to those brothers and sisters in Darfur, in Western Sudan. Those are two genocides. Maybe you know, you are aware of genocide in 1994 in Rwanda. But the worst, the worst one in 21st century is what will happen on your watch in 2011 on January 9. Because the people of South Sudan had already determined their fate. And if anyone violated, not to allow the referendum to take place as scheduled on January 9, 2011, we will not tolerate that action. And that action may lead us back to another third civil war they make claim the life of over two millions, in addition to what we've already been killed. Thank you very much. From the child in the womb to the child in Darfur, from the embryo to the elderly, I'm Francis Bach, and I'm all life.